Hello, welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the Love Weekly for Pisces. This is a Love Weekly relationship outlook that you have with someone. So it's going to be a connection uh, reading. That's how I do my Love Weekly, if you're new to my channel. If you're a regular on my channel, thank you for uh, stopping by and checking me out. Alright guys, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to start off with a uh, shout out to Peter. I'm going to start off with uh, Spirits of Darkness and Light, Oracle Deck, to see what energies are impacting this particular connection. Now, this connection could be something old or new. It can be reconciliatory, or it can be a, re uh, a connection that you have with someone currently. It's just a weekly snapshot, and it's not going to resonate for all Pisces out there. So, let's just get get what we can. Oh, you might hear my kitty cat. She might walk walk by. Sometimes she does that, but we have Spirit of St. Nicholas. We have Spirit of Envy and Spirit of the Shoreline. So, Spirit of St. Nicholas, gifts, generosity, you know, surprises, right? Um, presents. Spirit of Envy, someone is resentful. Someone is uh, discontent miserable <laughs> and we have spirit of the shoreline so a feeling of ca a calm tranquility relaxing uh being able to take a breath right uh if you've been dealing with anxiety the spirit of the shoreline will bring a sense of tranquility a, re a respite from that anxiety and yet at the same time you have this interesting spirit of envy coming in as well so let's just see how this is all going to impact your relationship or your connection this week um, it's not always a full-blown relationship, right? Sometimes it's just a connection and it get, turns into a relationship. So let's just see. What's going on? This is for today, September 28th to October 4th for Pisces. Show me. Oops, flipped. I'm not going to take that. Show me what's going on with Pisces. This week. Your person is coming into the week with an Eight of Wands. You're coming in with a King of Cups. They see you as a seven of pentacles, and you see them as a ten of wands. They desire strength, major arcana eight, and you desire knight of cups. What needs to happen for your person is the six of wands, and for you, it needs to, uh, what needs to happen is the page of pentacles. This is a position of what needs to happen for you to achieve your desire. At the bottom of the deck, we have justice. So there's definitely a sense of balance coming in, karma playing out. A situation that has been out of balance is going to be starting to come into balance. So let's get right into it, Pisces. Your person is coming into the week very chaotic, Eight of Wands. They have a lot of emotions, mixed emotions. Um, they have a lot going on. They're dealing with a bombardment of a lot of energy as well. It's, it may not even be so much that the chaos is emanating from within them. It could just be that everything around them right now is very, very chaotic. They feel like they're getting a lot of mixed messages from a lot of different people. Um, and that's how they're coming in. They may be feeling like they need to put boundaries up because of this overwhelming feel, feeling with that Eight of Wands. You're coming into the week with King of Cups energy. It's a desire that you have to lock something down. King of Cups is very sort of the hunter. He goes out for what he wants. He uh, knows who he wants. He knows what kind of relationship he wants. He definitely knows who he wants. And he's very much the hunter in the relationship. So you're coming into the week with this energy, Pisces, which is this feeling of uh, you wanting to take a dominant lead in your love life. Whether it is a current relationship or locking down a new relationship. Uh, King of Cups is can be sometimes a little bit possessive, a little bit jealous. Those are some of the side traits. So it could very well be that you're also in a relationship with this individual and you're feeling that this week. You're feeling a little bit of tension or 
envy. Remember, we have a spirit of envy. So envy, jealousy can come in, but it's like um, envy is, it's, you, it's rare to find envy within a relationship, right? It's usually that you're jealous of something, of someone else is talking to your lover or being around your lover. But envy is a very strong kind of base emotion. Never, nevertheless, this could be vice versa. Or this could just also be in reaction to outside influences. So let's go on. We have seven of pentacles and ten of wands. So this is how you guys see each other. Um, seven of pentacles, Pisces, they see you as a hard worker. They see you as someone who is right now, though, in the middle of a crossroads. Not even so much a crossroads, but that right now you're feeling very much like, oops, let me get this focused, very much like, what am I doing? Where am I going? You're at a kind of space where you are reevaluating what makes you happy. You're reevaluating the kind of work that makes you happy. What is it that you want to do with your life? What are you doing now? And the fruits of your labor, is it what you expect? Is it enough? Are you satisfied? This is a very contemplative mood, Seven of Pentacles. Certainly a contemplative move with regard to what you do for your life, your living, your sustenance. And this is how your person is seeing you. You're seeing them as a Ten of Wands, so they're very much overburdened right now, oppressed with a lot of responsibilities, burdens that they've taken on. This could also be somebody who's also really crippled with a lot of sort of hang-ups, emotional baggage, right? A lot of sort of uh, mental hang-ups, a lot of sort of emotional kind of triggers or I want to say crutches, right? These wands oftentimes can re resemble crutches that we use in life that we kind of depend on in a way to protect ourselves, right? Uh, the way we react, you know, a lot of times when we act, when people act a certain way or they act, I want to say they react, right, a certain way, it's to protect themselves, right? And so, but it can then turn into kind of a type of behavior that ends up alienating you, right? So instead of protecting yourself, you end up just alienating yourself from people around you and experiences because you have such a kind of dysfunctional way of behaving. And that's all down to these wands that are kind of obstructing your view. Now, they can become very oppressive to carry this around. And so it feels to me like uh, this is how you're seeing your person deal with that. Like they're really haggard and worn, I want to say, down with a lot. Especially if they're coming in this week with eight of wands. So there's a lot coming into them already. And they also have then the added impact of this ten of wands energy that you are seeing. Because these are, the, these are in the position of how you're seeing each other. That you're seeing that they're really carrying around. The one thing with ten of wands though is that it's a breaking point. So usually what will happen here is that it will break, right? The person will finally have a, a moment. It'll be the straw that sort of broke the camel's back. And it'll be a feeling of letting go of all of that. But how that manifests um, really depends on the individual. Right now, I'm feeling more from this card, just that the, your person is carrying a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. They feel very burdened down. Now, what do you guys desire from each other? Well, or what do you desire in this connection? They desire strength, right? So they want to be strong. It could be that a lot of the burdens that they're carrying are a result of past relationships. So they're wanting to be very strong. They're wanting to not cave into their emotions or to their reactions and be very much like the one in charge, right? And making the decision. They desire that. And part of maintaining strength is also maintaining boundaries. But what you desire is Knight of Cups. You desire to be let in. You desire to be the knight in shining armor. And in order to do that, somebody has to also be willing in a lot of ways, right? You can't sweep somebody off their feet who really just doesn't want to be swept off. So you desire Knight of Cups. You desire to be in the position of Knight of Cups. You desire to be this, this person, this knight, this romantic individual. Male, female, doesn't matter. We're talking about energy here. You are the one who wants to sort of swoon them and woo them and, and, and charm them and really sort of uh, get to them, but they have to let you in. And I feel like this is ultimately what you're really desiring is to be allowed in enough so that you can work your magic. They are resonating with strength. And again, I feel like you may be dealing with somebody who has a lot on their plate already. You may be dealing with somebody who has a lot of emotional stuff on their plate. They're dealing, they have a difficulty dealing with a lot of attention, I want to say, or energy coming in. You may be dealing with somebody who's very fragile when it comes to that. And any kind of energy that comes in or energy exchange can 
uh, really get them to sort of uh, either withdraw or, or behave in a certain way because they are really sort of unable to cope with too much. I get that as a side feeling here. So Pisces, what needs to happen? Well, I'm going to say Six of Wands and Page of Pentacles. For your person, they need to feel a victory, right? They need to feel good. They need to feel a sense of self-esteem within themselves, self-confidence. They need a victory. And again, I think you're dealing with somebody who may be having a lot of, uh, I want to say... Uh, not emotional problems, but they are very manic in a sense that their emotions can go very, very, can change very quickly, right? They, they change very quickly and they're unable to sort of um, deal with too much attention coming in. Because it's interesting, they're overwhelmed here with this eight of wands coming in too much, too much. And f for your liking, you may be seeing what's actually coming into them. You may be saying, well, it's actually not that much, but for them, it feels overwhelming. And yet they still have this burden. Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands that they carry around. Yet what needs to happen is more attention. Six of Wands. Right? Because Six of Wands is a very public um, victory. And so it's interesting that what needs to happen for your person is yet more energy coming in. More attention. Because people watching you, paying attention to you is a draw on your energy in and of itself. Even though you, you feel like they're giving you energy, part of that is an energy sucker too. And it can be overwhelming. And so it's interesting that we have all of these wands cards associated with this individual. I just get an overwhelming. Yet what they desire is to control all of these strong emotions with that strength card. To control the fire. So again, I think you're dealing with somebody, Pisces, who is very... Uh, <clears throat> Very manic, very all over, and difficult. Not, and I don't want to say difficult, but it can be difficult to understand where they're coming from. You, what needs to happen for you is just methodical. Page of Pentacles, working away, working away. What needs to happen for you is this very kind of like step by step thing, right? Step by step. Page of Pentacles is Earth of Earth. Here we're talking about the practical, daily task oriented work, right? So when we apply that energy to what needs to happen here is very much a very step-by-step -step, uh, movement towards what it is you desire because you're dealing with somebody who gets very easily overwhelmed anyway. So moving forward with this kind of connection <clears throat> is going to require you to be very task oriented, right? Not goal oriented, uh, more task oriented and to do all of the little things or pay attention to all of the little things and the steps that are slowly going to bring you into a place where you can connect with this person. Although I do feel strongly, again, that this person is someone who, regardless of whether you are with them or not, this is uh, just as I feel this strongly in terms of the intuitive read of the reading, that this individual is somebody who's always had to battle with this. They've had to battle with these kind of ups and downs uh, these episodes, I will say, and this way of seeing themselves in the world, the inability to really uh, take on much, but yet the need to have a lot given, right? Very, very individual, very unique, I want to say. And, and also, again, someone who, if you feel strongly about being with them, it's going to require you to do things in a very task-oriented way because every little task has a big effect on this individual. So it will add up, if you know what I mean. Ten of Pentacles, Money, Emperor, Page of Swords. Yes, be confident. Uh, just because, and I'm not saying that you're dealing with somebody who's impossible, but I'm saying you're dealing with somebody who may even be very eccentric, they may be an artist, whatever the case may be. This is their disposition and personality, sort of tr some of their personality traits and how they see themselves and handle the world. Yet, you're re you're, uh, I want to say you're... Uh, confirmation cards, right, or clarification cards is Ten of Pentacles, Emperor, and Page of Swords. So you're on to something that is amazing. Ten of Pentacles indicates that materially and environmentally, realistically, tangibly, it will be prosperous. The Emperor definitely indicates that this is, this may be new territory for you, but this is definitely territory that you can handle, but it requires Page of Swords energy, which is being very, very strong and confident in your own mind. Remaining positive. One important thing here is to remain positive because I think you're also already dealing with somebody who's probably prone to maybe being a bit negative 
or it, or not even that they're prone to be a negative, they have a difficulty in maintaining a positive outlook. The Page of Swords is all about constantly fighting negative self-doubt, negative self-image, remaining positive, remaining steadfast, remaining mentally strong and confident in your ability. This is what is required here. And a step-by-step, -step, very methodical way of sort of bit-by-bit -bit building trust, building up to something, uh, which whatever that something is, you know it because your King of Cups here, the King of Cups knows what he wants, but it's going to be individual to, to any Pisces out there if you resonate with this reading. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your reading. I want to keep the weeklies nice and short and to the point. I hope you enjoyed it, Pisces. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to leave me a comment. All of that good stuff helps me stick around. But for right now, Pisces, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay kind to each other, and I will see you in your next readings. Bye-bye now.